Cork's been used in construction for several thousand years. It was documented as being used as a roof sheeting in Roman times. It was used uh, broadly during the 20th century by people like Gropius, local museum in Alto. It was the original uh, foam insulation board. And more recently, it's been used uh, by architects uh, who have a particular interest in its uh, sensory character and also its sustainability characteristics. The cork oak forests are found all around the Mediterranean rim. Uh, they're ancient landscapes. The cork itself is harvested every nine years, leaving the tree unharmed. So once you've harvested the bark, um, the prime cork is used for wine stoppers. Um, but that only uses 25% and you've got 75% waste. That waste granules, it's dry steamed up to about 360 degrees and it bonds in its own juices, so it's a pure plant-based product. And that's why we're interested in using it, because it's a waste product from a biodiverse landscape and it's pure plant-based. Yeah, traditional house construction tends to be a rather complicated uh, affair where lots of different proprietary products and materials are put together by uh, a lot of different trades uh, to make a rather complex uh, assembly that's often arranged in layers of structure, insulation, uh, vapour membranes, uh, external finishes, internal finishes and so on. Um, and we were interested with the cork house to try and radically simplify the wall uh, and to try and make an entire house out of two plant-based materials. This building uses a dry-jointed cork block system so that it's simple to assemble one block on top of the other and at the end of the life you can simply manually disassemble it. It's always interesting as an architect designing your own house, when you're picking the materials and the form of construction, you're ultimately designing how you experience the house. And in this case, it's a very raw, direct architecture. So correspondingly, the way you experience it is in a quite a raw, direct way, using all your senses. I think when we spent our first night in here, we were lying uh, on our backs in the bedroom, staring up at the roof light. Um, and we, I suddenly got this really um, strange feeling of, uh, of being aware of the load coming down from the roof light and stepping down over me and coming around me. And it's, I'm not sure I've ever really um, felt load like that physically as an experience before. Those are quite elemental um, experiences and a very strong connection with nature in this house. <laughs> 